Welcome back everybody. So we left on a cliffhanger last time and now we're gonna fix the small issue we had over here. Um, so we need to understand what's happening. I seem to be doing everything correctly and yet it's not working. Uh, well, the reason this is happening is because we're using stateless widgets over here. And an interesting thing about widgets is that actually widgets are immutable. That means widgets cannot be changed. Once you have your widget, that's it. You can't change anything about it. But that might seem a bit confusing because obviously when you have an app, I expect things to change. I want things to change. It will be useless if it doesn't do anything. So how is my widget able to change if it can't change? What's really happening is that the entire widget is destroyed and a new widget is created in its place. And of course we run this build function to create a new widget. The problem is in my app over here, when I create a new widget, when I create a new bottom nav bar, I'm creating it with the default index and the default callback. So I'm essentially creating, I have my old, my old widget, which is updated, but then a new default one with the initial values is created on top of that. So you can't see my old one. You can't see the things I've just changed. And that's why we need to use state. A state is what allows us to change things. State is the changing information or the, the exact position of that changing information. So that way we can create our actual widget with using the information from the state. So what we're going to do there is in my stateless widget, I'm going to control click control click. Okay, it's not working here. So I'm going to uh, click on the light bulb instead, which should do the same thing and convert to stateful widget. And notice what happens when I do that. Now my home screen extends stateful widget, right? But I have an override here, which is create state. And this is just an arrow function, which returns home screen state. If we go down, we have a different class. Again, it's a separate class, which is the home screen states, which extends states of type home screen. So this is exactly what I was mentioning before. They need to be two separate things. If, you know, if I had a single class, then that would just, it's being updated, but you would never see that update because when we rebuild it, we're masking what was just updated. So that's fine. Save, refresh, and let's try now. Still doesn't work. Let's try also inside our stateless widget. Here, it doesn't want to do it. Convert stateful widget. And I'm going to restart everything. Okay, and now it should be working really should be working if my laptop was a bit faster. I think it'll be working. Notice that when I reload it, oh, I, I just remembered why. I was trying to show you guys step by step the way to do this. And in so doing, I, I forgot which step I was missing. So notice something pretty interesting right now, which really demonstrates what I was saying. Right now, the third screen is selected. If I click on the timer, nothing happens, nothing seems to happen. But if I reload it, it is gonna to go to my correct one. So it is saving that state, but it's not rebuilding the way it should. And the reason it's not is because we need to give our, um, uh, our app some kind of signal. We need to tell it, hey, it's time to rebuild now. And the way we do that is through set state. So what set state does, and we'll see if it says anything useful here, notify the framework that the internal state of this object has changed. And because we're telling the framework, hey, we've changed things, then the framework is smart enough to know, okay, if you made some kind of change, that means I need to rebuild everything. And I did say that correctly, it rebuilds everything. Everything that was here before is gonna be destroyed and new ones are gonna replace it. And the set state is gonna take a function and it's a void function with no inputs. So I'm going to make this here. And honestly, if I remember correctly, this will work. 
but it's not quite correct because I should put this inside my set state to tell Flutter what exactly is changing. If I do this, notice now I'm able to change this correctly. What's interesting though is my bottom nav bar is also changing. And maybe you were expecting this, but you shouldn't have been because these are two different two different widgets. Why does bottom nav bar know to refresh, to rebuild when I've used the set states inside home screen states? It shouldn't be doing that. Well, the reason is because my on tap, and I believe it says it over here. Um, so track of the index of the selected bottom navigation bar index and call set state to rebuild the bottom navigation bar with the new current index. So my bottom navigation bar is going to automatically uh, call set state. If this on tap was not calling on state, my bottom nav bar would not update. What you would see is this changing, but this staying the same. Uh, let me actually demonstrate that. I don't know if I can actually do it the other way around. I can't. Okay, the way I'm going to demonstrate that is by just deleting all of this. And I know I'm missing something. So what error do I have? Miss, uh, state for create state. Because you are now a stateless widget. Okay. And if we refresh this. Uh, widget callback. Let me see. Yeah. So it changed everything for me automatically. And I'll go over what it changed afterwards. Because for now I want to show you guys. Yeah. It's still working. <laughs> I need to read. For some reason it's still working. It was not supposed to work when it's a status widget. I might have to rebuild everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have just rebuilt everything. So my bottom nav bar is still working the way it's supposed to be. I was actually expecting it not to, but I guess the Flutter team has done something behind the scenes so that even if I do try to create a stateless widget, it does still work. It's either that or, oh, this is why. Uh, so I actually made a small mistake in my understanding for a second. Because bottom nav bar is a child of home screen, because we're using set states inside home screen, my home screen is rebuilding itself and all of this is being rebuilt. And we can see right here, we have our bottom nav bar, which is being rebuilt. When I was, uh, when I was making the finished project, so before this video, I had these two things separate. So I had a separate scaffold and that was like outside of this which was demonstrating what I wanted to, dem to demonstrate correctly. But this was another important point to understand. All of the children, are, all of the children of our rebuilt widget are also going to be rebuilt unless we give it a key. But that gets into more advanced stuff, which we're not ready to tackle quite yet. But for now, I'm actually gonna change this back to a stateful widget because it's just the correct way of doing it. Again, my VS code is not cooperating, so I'm going to click on the uh, light bulb there instead. And one more thing I want to point out to you guys is that when I do this, my current index here, rather than being index, becomes widget.windex. Because currently, bottom navbar state and bottom navbar are two separate classes. So it wouldn't make sense to use index like this because this doesn't exist. This is from a different class. I can't use a different class's variables inside my class if I'm not passing it in. But Flutter knows these two things are highly related. So it's given us the ability to quickly access the variables from here, which is by using widget dot. And we have the same thing with a callback over here. Widget dot callback. Okay, guys, so real quick review. This is state. State is what actually allows our uh, our classes and our widgets to change. 
if we don't have any states, nothing will change because widgets by default are immutable. They cannot change. And actually, every time we are we are changing the state, we are rebuilding the widget. We're rebuilding the widget and any children which need to be rebuilt. So we're not just changing one part. It's everything's destroyed and rebuilt, but it is the best way of doing it. Okay, we're going to leave this here. In the next video, we're going to start talking about some possible difficulties when it comes to states with slightly bigger apps. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. But for now, myself, Avidius, I'm out.